Okay? So, let us start. So, for today's lesson, masasagot natin yung mga tanong. Okay? Or madedefine natin yung paano po ba maggawa or mag-illustrate ng forces using um free body diagram. Okay? So, malalaman din po natin kung paano po ba natin o-obtain yung qualitative and quantitative conclusion regarding Newton's first law of motion as well as second law. And then, uh, at, at the last competency na ma-reach ma natin is to solve problems regarding Newton's law of motion and it, its application. Okay? So, before we start our discussion, let's have some review. Okay. So, Newton's first law of motion. New this uh, law states that an object in motion stays in motion in a straight line unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. This unbalanced force can either be a push or a pull will co uh, that causes an object to speed up, slow down, or change its path or direction. Okay, so nabanggit natin dito yung unbalanced force. Okay, kailan po ba tayo nagkakaroon ng unbalanced force? Kapag meron po tayo value of our net force. So, um, forces are balanced. Even though forces are balanced, our object can either be at rest or in motion. Okay? When an object is at rest, its velocity is equal to zero. When, when it, it, in, in, it, it is in motion, we have a value of velocity. But if their acceleration is zero, um, the object would remain at rest while the object in motion with the zero acceleration, meaning the forces are balanced in that specific object, the object would stay in motion with the same speed and same direction. Meaning, it would have a, a constant velocity. So, all throughout its motion, it would have the same value as well as the direction of and its magnitude would be the same all throughout its motion. Okay? So, now... Um, since we are talking about forces that acts upon the body, okay, in order for us to illustrate and help us make a uh, easier concept understanding behind forces that acts upon the body, we use a free body diagram. Okay, and what is a free body diagram? Okay, it is um, a picture that shows the size and direction of all forces that acts uh, uh, on that specific object, okay? So, we have steps in uh, to be followed in illustrating free body diagram. First, pick one object to analyze. So, this object is um, on the situation given to you, okay? So, hanapin daw po natin yung object na ia-analyze natin na nakaranas ng force. Okay? Second uh, step is draw a box to represent that object. Okay? So, para malaman natin na meron po tayong object with uh, forces acting on it, at the center of our free body diagram, we should draw a box. Okay? Third step is draw, draw an arrow to represent each force acting on the object. Okay? Make sure, sa step number four, the arrow shows the direction and relative size of the force. Okay? Since a force is a vector quantity, we need to illustrate both its magnitude and direction. Okay, so the direction of the forces um, depends on what kind of force it is, okay? Um, as well as in writing a free or in illustrating a free body diagram, the length of the arrow should be relative on how we um, 
uh, define it in our uh, situation or in our problem. Kasi di ba yung ating haba ng ating arrow, ito yung nagre-represent sa atin ng magnitude, ng specific vector quantity. Okay? So, kung nakita mo sa problem mo na mas maikli si friction kaysa kay normal force, so, might as well, you should illustrate that on your free body diagram. Okay? So, since we are talking about forces, we have different types of forces. Di ba po? We have uh, contact and non-contact or field forces. But for this lecture, we would be focusing more on the contact forces. So let us enumerate and define those types of contact forces at alamin po natin kung ano yung direction ng specific force na yun. Okay? So let's start with applied force. Okay? Hindi po nakalagay dito si applied force. Kasi applied force is the force na nilagay natin or uh, binigay natin doon sa specific object para siya ay mag-move or para siya ay gumalaw. Applied force ay nakadepende po yan or nakavary po yan sa uh, situation natin. So, pwede ng applied force papunta sa kanan kasi tinulak mo yung book sa kanan or papunta sa kaliwa kasi tinulak mo yung book sa kaliwa. Okay? So, yung applied force, wala po siyang specific direction. Nakadepende po yan dun sa situation. Kaya hindi na rin po siya sinama dito sa table. Okay? So, yung mga susunod natin i-discuss is ito yung may mga uh, forces na may specific tayong susundang direction. Okay? So, let's start with friction. Okay, friction is denoted as or expressed as F sub R in some books. Okay, so nalaman natin from our previous discussion that we have two types of friction. We have static and kinetic friction. Okay, so ano po muna ang ibig sabihin ng friction? Friction is the opposing force from your applied force. For example, meron tayo dyang object na naka, nasa ibabaw ng isang surface, nag-apply ka ng force sa kanan, ang tendency ni friction would be opposing to from your applied force. Okay? So, we have two types of friction. So, we have static and kinetic friction. Static friction are friction which are observable even our object is at rest. But this um, uh, kind of friction is most of the time negligible kasi sobrang liit lang ng value niya. Okay, so yung alam natin talaga or yung pinaka-observable in real life is yung kinetic friction. Because this friction occurs when, when a body or when an object is moving on a surface. Okay, so may contact siya and in moving dun sa isang surface. Okay? So, meron tayong mathematical expression of kinetic friction. Kinetic friction is uh, expressed as F sub K and it is equal to mu K multiplied by the normal force or Fn. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? Mu K. Mu K is the coefficient of kinetic friction. Okay? So, this varies depending on the material of your object as well as your uh, surface. So, yung mu k yung nagsasabi sa atin kung gaano ka smooth or ka rough yung surface na yun. Okay? So, mu k, value of mu k depends of the, on the material and most of the time, equal siya or less than po siya rather sa 1. Okay? So, um, if we have a value of Fn, and then meron po tayong value ng coefficient of kinetic friction. Most of the time, friction has lower quantity with respect 
to our normal force. Kasi di ba, everything na uh, minultiply natin, okay, sa decimal or sa value less than 1, ang tendency po niyan ay mag-decrease, okay? That's why a uh, uh, kinetic friction is less than the normal force. So, ano po ba si normal force? So, normal force, ito po yung force na ine-exert ni surface sa object. Okay? So, for example, meron tayong book, okay, na nakalagay sa surface. Si surface, okay, nag -e exert din niya ng force kay book or dun sa object na nakapatong sa kanya. So, ang direction ni normal force ay upwards or, sorry, uh, away from the surface and always perpendicular with respect to the surface. So, lagi po yung nagpo-form ng 90 degrees. Okay? So, next we have uh, spring force. Spring force is a restoring force that is uh, the push or pull uh, spring exerts on an object. For example, meron po tayong spring tapos may nakakabit sa kanyang object. Ang direction po ni spring, if, you, if the displacement of your object is downward, is opposite. Okay? It is opposite the displacement of the object at the end of the spring. Okay? So, next we have tension. So, kunwari, meron tayong box. Tapos, nagkabit tayo ng rope, cable, or chain. Depende, basta ganun yung uh, purpose. So, the uh, direction of the tension would be parallel and away from our object. For this example, ganito po yung direction ni force. Then, we have thrust. Okay? Thrust is a general term for the forces that moves objects such as rockets, planes, cars, and um, of, uh, people. So, ito yung parang biglang pagtulak para mas bumilis. Okay? Para mas mobilis yung galaw ng object. Okay? For example, we have a moving bo body. Okay? So, nag accelerate siya papunta sa kanan. So, the direction of the thrust is also the same or with the same direction as for the acceleration. Okay? Next, we have weight. Okay? Everything in earth has weight. Why? Because a uh, weight is the quantitative measurement of the effect of gravity to that specific object. And all object of in earth has mass. Okay? Lahat ng object kay, kay earth meron po yung mass, di ba? Okay? So, lahat po tayo, lahat ng namakikita natin sa Earth ay um, may weight po na na nag a upon sa kanya. So, paano natin i-express mathematically yung effect ni gravitational force sa ating mga katawan? So, using the expression Fg or F sub G is equals to Mg. Okay? So, mass here is our weight or weight of the object. He, uh, G here is the acceleration due to gravity. Okay? So, this is the effect of our uh, the gravitational force by the Earth towards our uh, system. Okay? So, what is the direction of the weight? So, weight uh, is always towards the center of the earth. So, most of the time, ano po yan? Laging pababa. Laging kung nasaan, okay? Kung nasaan yung uh, center ng earth, okay? So, before we continue, let's have uh, some relationship between normal force and weight. Okay? Normal force and weight are always side by side with one another. Especially for contact forces. Okay? So, um, for example, okay, so itong object natin dito sa normal force, iba may contact siya sa surface. Everything na may contact sa surface ay meron po siyang normal force at saka weight. Okay? So, kung hindi mo ginalaw yung object, ang tendency po ng dalawang yan ay mag-cancel out. Okay? So, kapag uh, 
at rest yung object natin in contact with the surface, the value of the normal force and the value of the weight is uh, the same but opposite in direction. So, if our quantitative expression of weight is e uh, Fg or F sub G is equals to Mg, so, pwede natin i-conclude na Fn is equals to negative Fg is equals to negative mass times the acceleration due to gravity. Okay? So, now, this is very crucial, mga kapatid. So, bakit po natin ito din-discuss? Kasi, um, uh, uh, kailangan malaman natin, kailangan kaya po natin i-identify yung mga specific kind of forces for us to illustrate what would be the direction of that specific force. So, parang madali natin ma-analyze yung situation. Okay, now let's put this into practice. Try po natin yan dito sa situation na to. Okay, a, a, a book is at rest on a tabletop. Diagram the forces on the on the book. Okay, so based from our discussion, ang mga forces na nag-act dito sa book at saka yung force na in-exert ni table kay book ay uh, the normal force as well as the weight. Okay? So, meron pong normal force, F sub N, and meron pong weight na F sub G. Okay? So, anong itsura ng FBD ng situation na to? It would look like this. Okay? In this diagram, there are normal and gravitational forces on the book. Okay? The forces are balanced out. Okay? So, meaning, the normal force, okay, and the gravitational force have the same value of its magnitude, but opposite in direction. When it is, when it is balanced out, meaning based from the situation, the object is not moving or at rest. Okay, paano naman po kung inalaw ko, naglagay ako ng applied force papunta sa kanan. Tapos, yung, yung table natin, rough siya, okay? So, um, ano yung mababago dun sa FBD natin? Okay, so pag ganun yung mangyari, meron tayong madadagdag na applied force papunta sa kanan at friction force papunta sa kaliwa, opposing the applied force. Notice, okay? Notice that the length of the friction force is much uh, lesser. Okay? Then the normal force because of the expression F sub K multiplied by mu K times F N. So most probably the value here of the coefficient of kinetic friction is less than 1. Okay? So note that the applied force arrow pointing to the right. Notice how friction force points on the opposite direction. Finally, Meron pa rin po tayo, hindi pa rin po natin pwedeng i-disregard si gravity and normal forces. Okay? So, you may try this uh, um, example. A skydiver is falling with a constant velocity. Consider air resistance. Draw a free body diagram for the skydiver. Okay, so the FBD for this situation would look like this, okay? So the gravity pulls down on the skydiver while air resistance pushes up as she falls from the sky, okay? Kasi, naka, uh, bakit may air resistance? Kasi na, uh, nakalagay dun sa, um, uh, sit, sa problem natin na kailangan natin i-consider yung air resistance. Air resistance is just like friction, uh, opposing po yan kay gravity. So, pero ang air resistance, maano lang po natin yan, may encounter lang po natin yan sa free falling bodies or sa mga falling objects. Okay? So, next situation, you may pause and you may try to write the free body diagram. A man drags a sled across loosely packed snow with a rightward Acceleration. Draw a pre-body diagram of the forces acting on the sled. 
Okay? So, the FBD for the situation, so present po yung apat nating forces. So, we have the normal force, the force from the snow to, towards the uh, sled. We have the gravitational force, okay, the sled towards the center of the earth. We have the applied force, yung paghigit, yung pagdrag ng man dun sa sled niya. And we have frictional force. We, uh, we have loosely packed snow. Okay? So, the rightward force arrow points to the right. Friction slows his progress and pulls in the opposite direction. Since there is not information that we are in a blizzard, normal force still applies as does gravitational force since we are on planet Earth. Okay? So, now, so, now we move on to Newton's uh, second law of a motion. It states that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the net force acting on the object is in direction uh, of the net force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. Simply, the acceleration is equals to F net all over its mass. Or, in order for us to get the total force acting on that specific object, F net is equals to mass times acceleration. Okay? So, what is F in F is equals to MA? Okay. If there is more than one force acting on an object, then F is a net force. If two people pull an object with equal forces in the opposite direction, there is the net force uh, the net force is zero and the acceleration is zero. So, pwede pong maging zero yung net force natin. Meaning, we have uh, balanced forces. Our object is either at rest or moving with a constant speed and direction. Okay? So, how do we calculate the net force? The net force is what we get when all the forces are properly combined. Okay, the net force takes into account both how strong the forces are in what direction they act. The net force determines the acceleration of our object. Okay, since force is a vector quantity, in order for us to calculate the total or the summation of all forces acting on that body, we must apply vector algebra. Okay, so... Um, let's try this on this um, free body diagram. So, we have net force of, sorry, we have normal force of 20 newtons and we have gravitational force of 20 newtons. In order for us to get summation of, of forces, the F net or the summation of all forces acting on the specific object, we must add, okay, uh, Fn to the gravitational force, okay? So, take note, mga kapatid, na di ito ay vector. So, hindi nyo pwede i-add lang basta na 20 plus 20, hindi po, hindi po pwedeng ganon. Kailangan i-take into consideration po natin yung direction ng object. So, we have 20 newtons upward, tsaka 20 newtons downward, okay? Since pag tinignan po natin, yung isa sa kanila, since papunta sa negative part, ay magiging zero po, ah, magiging negative po yan. So, 20 newtons minus 20 newtons. So, the F net for this situation is, okay? 0 newtons. Meaning, our object is at rest or uh, moving with a constant speed. Balance po yung force. What if ginawa ko tong 10 newtons? Okay, what would happen to the F net? Okay, F net is equal to 10 newtons pataas plus 20 newtons. Okay. Pababa. So, makikita natin, merong, merong isang uh, 
uh, factor na mas mataas kaysa dun sa isa. So, ito yung positive nating force kasi pataas siya. Tapos ito ay yung negative force natin kasi pababa siya. So, kung isasum natin yan, ang answer natin ay negative 10 newtons. Pero, huwag kakalimutan mga kapatid, huwag lang pong negative 10 newtons yung uh, isulat natin na sagot. Lagyan natin ng arrow kasi this negative 10 newtons could be along x-axis, along y-axis, you'll never know. Okay? So, it's safe for us to include the direction of the arrow. So, the F net or the summation of a uh, force for this situation is 10 newtons downward. So, ibig sabihin mag accelerate yung object na to pababa. Okay? So, any question? So, ganun din po yung gagamit, gagawin nyo. Pagka parehong yung, yung ating force ay parehong nasa x-axis, direct lang po siya. Consider lang po yung direction. So, kapag nasa x-axis, ganun din. Paano naman kapag ka, meron tayong present na force sa x, tapos meron tayong present na force sa so, y? Just like this example. Okay, paano po yung gagawin natin dyan para makuha natin yung net force? Okay, ang first po na gagawin natin dito, kukunin muna natin yung forces along x-axis and the summation of all forces along y-axis. Okay? Then after, kung isisimplify po natin yan, ito po yung ating fy, tapos ito yung fx natin. Sorry. Okay, in order for us to get our F net, okay, since right triangle po yan, yung F net natin, para makuha natin, kailangan gumamit tayo ng Pythagorean theorem. Okay, summation of Fx squared plus summation of Fy squared. Okay, this is just for getting the magnitude, the direction, kailangan, guma kailangan gumamit tayo ng Sokatoa, Tangent negative 1, Fy over F. Okay? So, let's start finding the F net for this situation. So, uh, i-check natin yung FBD natin. Alin bang mga forces yung nasa x-axis? So, meron tayong applied force, tsaka meron tayong frictional force. Okay? So, we have Fa, papunta dito sa direction na to, and we have Fr, Opposite B, Fa. So, the value of Fa is 10 newtons. Okay, since opposite C, Fr, pwede na natin siyang inigate, negative 5 newtons. So, the summation of all forces sa x-axis ay equal sa 5 newtons. Towards the right. Okay, how about Fy? Alam yung mga forces along y-axis? We have normal force so pataas and we have gravity na ah, sorry weight na pababa okay so the value of fn is 10 newtons ang weight naman natin is 5 newtons so pwede na nating inigate si weight kasi pababa siya so, the summation of all forces kay y-axis is equivalent to 5 newtons pataas. Okay? So, now we get this uh, net force using Pythagorean theorem. Summation of all forces along x-axis squared plus summation of all forces along y-axis squared is equal to 5 squared plus 5 squared, so 25 squared, at uh, 25 plus 25 is 50 squared, now 50 is 5 squared of 2 newtons. Okay, so ito pa lang yung magnitude, kailangan nating hanapin yung direction. So katoa tangent negative 1 is equals to Fy over Fx. Okay, so tangent negative 1 is equals to 5 over 5. 
So tangent negative 1, 1 is equal to 45 degrees. Okay, so the net force for this situation is 5 new, uh, square root of 2 newtons, angle 45 degrees. Okay, take note mga kapatid yung angle natin. Dahil parehong nasa positive siya ng x and y, wala na tayong gagawin. Pero kailangan yung angle natin would be express, okay, uh, reference to x-axis. Okay? So, now, uh, we have learned how to calculate forces using this step. Meron pang isang step na ituturo sa inyo kung paano mabilis na mag-calculate ng net force using your calculators. Okay? So, habang binubura ko yung ating lecture, so, your calculator must be on the complex uh, setup. So, i-ano nyo po siya, i-set up nyo po siya na nasa complex po siya kasi, ah, uh, Doon po tayo sa setup na yun, magsosolve ng vector algebra. Okay? So, kapag nasa complex na yung ating um, uh, calculator, so, pwede na po tayo, pwede natin itry itong shortcut, uh, simple technique in solving, net. Force, okay? So, alam natin that net force is the summation of all forces that acts on that specific body regardless if it is on the x or the y axis. Okay? So, F net is just simply uh, applied force, okay, plus the normal force plus the friction plus its weight. Okay? So, Dito, kay, uh, sa technique na to, kailangan, alam po natin, yung um, angular quantity nung force na yun. Kailangan kaya natin siyang ilocate kung nasan siya dun sa Cartesian plane. Okay? So, let's start. So, F net, since F A po, yan, look, gamitin natin yung Cartesian plane. So, si, since si F A, Nandito siya. Okay. So, ang value nung angular displacement niya ay equal sa 0. So, it is just simply 10 newtons. Okay. Now, let's move on to the normal force. Okay. Yung normal force, mga kapatid, nandito siya, di ba? Okay. Pataas siya. So, ang value niya with respect to x-axis is 90 degrees. Okay. So, kailangan mo siyang isulat in a way na ganito po. 10 newtons angle 90 degrees. Okay? Now, let's move forward with the friction. So, yung friction natin nandito. So, kung kukunin natin yung uh, displacement niya with respect to x-axis, ang angle po niya ay 180 degrees. Okay, so, gayahin lang natin, 5 newtons angle, 180 degrees. And then, after, yung last po, yung ating weight. So, yung weight natin, ganun po ulit, with respect to x-axis, meron tayong 270 degrees. Okay, yung value ng weight natin, 5 angle, 270 degrees. Okay, itong expression na to, pwede nyo po siyang i-type or kailangan nyo siyang i-type dun sa calculator nyo na maganto yung magiging itsura. So, yung angle na to, in my calculator, sa white na calculator, ano po siya? Shift N. Okay, shift N. Um, I forgot with the gray one. Pero meron din po yan. Hanapin nyo lang. Okay? So, once na... Na input nyo na po ito, 10, new, uh, 10 plus 10 angle 90 plus 5 angle 180 plus 5 angle 270. Uh, you just simply press equal. So, pag na-press nyo na yung equal, may lalabas po dyan na sagot 5, okay, 5 plus 5i. 
Okay? So, hindi pa ito yung final answer kasi siya po ay nasa imaginary part. Kailangan po kasi natin yung magnitude and direction. So, press answer. So, dito, na, dito ko na lang ilalagay. Press po natin yung answer and then sa gray na calculator, shift to 3. Okay? Then, sa white na calculator, option, scroll down, press 1. Kailangan yung maging itsura nung screen nyo ay ganito. Answer, tapos meron dyan parang arrow, R, sorry, R, angle, theta. So, kailangan maging ganito yung itsura nung screen nyo. Again, sa gray, shift to 3. Answer, shift to 3. Sa white naman, option, scroll down, 1. Okay? So, um, once na natapos nyo na siya, um, magbibigay na po siya ng answer na katulad nung na-compute natin kanina, which is F net is equals to 5 square root of 2 newtons angle 45 degrees. Okay? So, that is... Uh, how simple it is. Okay, so hindi na natin kailangan uh, kunin yung individual X and Y component for this kind of uh, problem. Though, alam, mas, ma, mas ma, okay pa rin po na malaman po natin, okay, yung um, uh, way na yun. Kasi may, magkakaiba naman po ng mga problems na present in solving the net force, okay? So, this is just simple technique on how uh, for the easiness of our lives, okay? So, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach through me, okay? So, that would be the end of our discussion. I hope you had a great day ahead of you. On our next video or, or, an, or an, on our next lecture, we would be discussing more problems regarding Newton's law of it and its application. Okay? So, that would be all for this day. Goodbye and thank you. Stay hydrated, stay safe, and may God bless us, may, may God bless us all. So, paalam mga kapatid, ingat po tayong lahat.